Today I'm going to be talking about the top tips to look into when selecting your service area for your own home care agency. Hello, and my name is Scott McKenzie. I am the founder of Golden Age Companions, a non-medical home care agency based in Irvine, California. We have been in business for over 12 years now and have generated $8 million of revenue. And I have also founded a company called Home Care Agency Blueprint, which is designed to help you start, grow, and scale your very own home care agency and there's a link in the description to book a call with me if you'd like to talk about how to start up your own home care business and that does come directly to me so uh, we can we can talk about that now so the the things to consider when you're looking at starting up your home care agency and then like looking at the service area how you know where to provide the service there's a couple things here and I've mentioned it in my other videos. I'll go into a little bit more detail here. When you're first selecting the service area, you want to know what is it that is are the main needs and how many home care agencies are nearby you. So if there's say a ton of competition, that could be a good and a bad thing. That just means that there's definitely demand and then you can call around to those other competitors and see what they're doing, what they're offering. You know, maybe your home care business can be offering something different than what they're offering. For example, if they're, if everyone is saying that we do companion care, uh, essentially non-medical care, maybe they have like hourly uh, minimums. Maybe they only do five or six hour minimums and it has to be three times a week. Well, you can consider doing four hours once a week as a minimum. Uh, even two hour shifts if you're if you're willing to do that and just charge more those are harder to staff but that's kind of a way you can enter into the the market you can play with what your service offerings are and then the other thing to think about is in regards to the clients and caregivers so if the you want to make sure that you have clients that can afford your services you know these can be it could cost anywhere from a thousand a month on the low end to twenty five thirty thousand dollars a month for home care services if you're providing twenty four seven care you want to be sure that the area that you're targeting is affluent and they can afford the services and then also there's an area to source caregivers from to be able to provide care for those clients something that you can look at doing is even going on like job boards as if you were a caregiver look at how many postings are online for hiring caregivers if you see that there's a demand then you know that that there's you know people that are looking for work if there's a lot of job postings and it just doesn't really look like you know it looks like um you know you can kind of tell that the agencies are maybe having a hard time like really recruiting staff then you know that there's probably a higher demand for the services than the actual caregivers Keep in mind this business is a balance though. So, you know, you have, you, you, you're always wanting to funnel in the clients, but then also have quality, really good caregivers to be taking care of your patients. So the other thing is I, I kind of believe in, in a level of focus on you and your agency and your branding and your why of why you got into this business. Don't look too much as, as far as the competition it is important to know who's around you, what they're doing, and how you could be different to enter into the market because you, you will be that new agency there. At the same time, you want to make sure that you focus on what your core values are. And if you're doing a really great job hiring really, you know, like amazing caregivers to go in the home and take care of these seniors or ones with disability, and you do a good job at managing that entire process, the bottom line is people are going to spread the word and they're going to want to refer your agency as well. The other thing is your regulatory environment. So that's, for example, licensing, what kind of licensing is required for your state, for your local jurisdiction. You want to be aware of what that is. And then the other, the, the last thing that I would say is 
really looking at how many franchises versus home care agencies are private home care agencies are in your area if there's a ton of franchises and you're looking to do a private home care business which that's what i did with golden age companions the sky's the limit so like you can be providing care to any area you know here in orange county we've provided care up to 100 mile distance so you know, all the way down to San Diego, out to Palm Desert, Riverside. One of our like biggest clients that we ever got was in Riverside County, which is about a little over an hour drive from our office. And we're able to staff basically six caregivers on this case. It was 24 seven care. And then we were also taking care of the wife. So the wife and the husband, and it was over $40,000 a month. And that was for uh, three years. So it was uh, an amazing case for us, and and yeah, and that could and that literally came off of uh, Google, so that's where that client came from, and yeah, so just you know, but we were able. What I'm saying is, we were able to provide care for that client in that area because we're not a franchise. If we were a franchise, they would have been outside of our territory, and we would not have been able able to take on that client and provide care. So. Um, yeah, that's essentially just one, what I wanted to go over to over with today. And uh, thank you for visiting my video. And please like and subscribe if you already haven't. And if you are interested in starting up your own home care business, my link is in the description below. And as a bonus, I am going to provide a document below in the you can download it for on Google Docs. And it's a document that essentially helps you identify its top questions that you can ask yourself and it's like a guide on helping you identify what service area is going to be best for you in your area all right thanks so much i'll see you in the next video